All right, uh, I just want to make this quick video here. Um, I found this Reddit post um, last night, I think, and uh, this guy was wanting to, wanting like pretty much a VST plugin for the noise suppression filter, the Spix or whatever um, that OBS uses, um, which I don't think they make. So, but this guy down here had a pretty good idea. He said you can use Voice Meter Banana to do it, and you can kind of set it up in there. Well, I got to thinking about it too. Um, you can also do this um, with something called virtual audio cable. If uh, if you if you watched my last video that I made, uh, we use virtual audio cable in that video and set up Voice Meter Banana to split uh, like your um, your actual Discord, Teamspeak audio. Um, game chat and where you can listen to music but it doesn't play on stream and then you also have music playing on your stream we have, we use that to split up all the different uh, all the different audio sources and actually route all of it to where it needs to go so if you followed that one um, then you use virtual audio cable once um, so if you did do that and you want to do this too then you will have to pay five dollars and get virtual audio cable a plus b which will give you two extra virtual audio cables for i think it's a five dollar donation is the minimum um it's actually worth it in my opinion um but um that's the only way you can get it that i know of if you did the if you did it the way we did it in the last video and used your free one but uh so regardless uh if you buy it or whatever um just download it if you buy it it'll take you to the to the web shop or whatever and you can download it from there it'll, and it'll and your download will always be there so if you like reinstall windows or something like that you can come back here log into your account go to your downloads and you can download it again you, you don't you don't have to pay for it again or whatever it's just a one-time fee that you pay so uh we'll uh, save the file here so mine's here on my desktop what i like to do is right click just make a new folder you don't have to name it and then I use 7-zip um, so we'll just double click on that to open it and then I'll go in here control A to select everything and I'll drag it over to the folder which will extract it to this folder and then you can just run the setup right here so I, I use virtual uh, VB cable setup X to x64 because I'm on 64-bit Windows 10 um, it shouldn't really matter which one you use here you can use whichever one you want but set that up go through the installer and then it will, uh, then you'll, it'll, I'm pretty sure it tells you to restart, but even if it doesn't, go ahead and restart and then come back. So now you have virtual audio cable installed. So we'll go back to OBS. If, uh, if you use, if you use OBS to like stream record and all that, then you should have everything set up. Um, so like I got my mic set up right here, right click on it, go to filters. The only two filters I use are noise suppression and noise gate. Um, if you want to just, copy and paste these two would be a good starting point I guess um, the only other one I would recommend is if you're if your um, voice is like kind of low um, and you want to like make it louder um, you can add some gain right here so add a gain filter um, just make sure your gain filter if you do add ones at the very top of your chain so like these right here is like a like it's like an audio chain so make sure your gains at the top, the noise pressure, the noise gate. Um, if you put a limiter on here, make sure the limiter is the last, uh, the last part of the chain. Um, otherwise, just use noise gate. I'm gonna take the gain off because I don't need it. Um, you can also use VST plugins too, like Reefer. Um, you can use like EQ plugins uh, as well. So um, I'll link a few of those in the description as well, along with VB audio cable. If I didn't already mention that. Um, but, uh, so you got your filter set up on here. You got VB audio cable installed. So now we'll go over here to settings and we'll go to audio and then where it says advanced monitoring device. So the virtual audio cable we just installed, will select that. So if you, if you just installed the one, like just the free one, um, it'll be V, it would be cable input, VB virtual, VB audio virtual cable. If you did the ones where you, where you have to, bomb or whatever like a b uh, c d or whatever it'll 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 be cable a cable b cable c cable d whatever so you'll select that one so that's that's what i got because i'm 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 already using the free one so i'm uh, so i so i just installed one of the other ones and uh, that i bought for five dollars so i'm using cable input b so 
and make sure disable Windows Audio Ducking is enabled. Hit OK. Then we'll go back to your mic, uh, to your mic input here in the uh, in the audio mixer. We'll right click on it again. Go to Advanced Audio Properties, and make sure uh, on your mic here. Just go over. Make sure monitor and output is selected, so that way your stream can hear you talking, and you can uh, and it also copies the uh, the freaking same um, the like the same audio stream over to the virtual audio cable, and you can use it to route it wherever you want to. So it's pretty much taking your voice here is and it's pretty much splitting it between two different sources, so that way uh, your stream can hear you talking through OBS here through your stream or like whether you're like making a YouTube video or whatever but then you can also uh, if you're in like discord team speak uh, zoom whatever they can also hear you too because it's just literally copying the output so that's the OBS setup and then uh, go to discord and go into your settings on discord here and go to voice and video and for input device you'll select the same cable that we selected in OBS so I selected cable B output. Um, if you just have the normal one, it'll be cable, just cable output. Um, if you have the free uh, virtual audio cable, so just select that. Make sure you select voice activity unless you're using push to talk. You can use push to talk as well if you want to. I just use voice activity. Um, uh, untoggle the automatically determined sensitivity thing so you get this slider here slide it all the way down to 100 decimals that's turning off the built-in um, the actual built-in uh, noise gate because we set up a noise gate as one of our filters in OBS so we don't need it in both places and then make sure you turn off all the uh, like the uh, advanced settings here um, like noise suppression from crisp um, echo cancellation, noise reduction, advanced voice activity, that should be off. If not, just don't worry about it. Um, automatic gain control, turn it off. Uh, I turn off the enable high quality or quality of service high pack of priority too. Um, I don't think it really matters. Um, you can leave attenuation on if you want to. You don't have to. Um, I, I, I usually just leave it off too. And uh, but, but just mainly make sure everything that's going to do any kind of like uh, that's going to put any kind of filters through like Discord or TeamSpeak. Make sure you turn them all off because we're doing all that through the filters on OBS. So we just need to copy the signal over and that's it. So that's this setup on Discord. And then if you use TeamSpeak, it's pretty much it's kind of similar. So here's TeamSpeak. Go to set, go to options, then capture. And uh, capture mode just automatically use best. Capture device, same thing as Discord. Uh, use your uh, virtual audio cable that you installed, whether it's just a normal free one or it's one of the paid ones. Select it there. Use voice activity detection. Mode is volume gate. Put your uh, put this all the way down. So, because just like on Discord, you also don't need a voice gate on here because we got it through OBS. And uh, make sure you disable all additional signal signal processing right here. So typing, attenuation, echo cancellation, background noise, echo reduction, turn all that off. So, and then just hit apply. And then that's set up through there. So now whenever you have OBS open, you're streaming, whatever, your voice will just be copied from here. So it'll be copied from uh, OBS over to whatever. I, I don't have Zoom or anything like that in, uh, set up, but it's pretty much the same setup through any Voice over IP program, just set uh, virtual audio cable as your input device and then turn off any kind of uh, extra like noise reduction or anything, echo cancellation, any kind of like um, digital uh, like filters or whatever that comes with the software to like reduce noise and echo and stuff. Make sure you just turn all those off. So that's how you set it up through um, if you already have OBS set up and everything and you're good to go. Um, that's how you do it. Um, that guy on the Reddit here he was talking about setting it up through voice meter banana um you probably could do this i'm not gonna do this because i don't i don't need it like that um i don't need um it's set up through voice meter banana and to be honest i just hate messing with voice meter banana um so but what you could do is alternative um even if you don't use obs to record or stream you can still set it up through obs technically um and if you just wanted to leave obs running in the background 
Um, so just install OBS and then you'll have just a scene one over here. Then you'll have a desktop and a mic uh, in your audio mixer here. If you don't have those over here for whatever reason, you can just add them here as the sources. So the only thing you'll need to add really is a audio input capture, which will be your mic. So uh, you can add that if you need to. It should add all of it by default, so you shouldn't have to mess with that. Just go into settings here and go to audio and make sure you select it right here. So desktop audio will be your, um, whatever your speakers, headphones are plugged into, whether it's a sound card, uh, internal sound card, USB, just the front of your case, uh, the back of your motherboard, whatever, it's probably gonna be real tech something. Um, so just make sure you have that selected there as uh, what play, what audio plays through your headphones and then, you, what, then whatever your mic is, you'll select it for mic auxiliary audio. So like mine is going through a go xlr so it's just chat mic 2 um if you're plugged into like i said like the um the front panel on your case a usb um sound card whatever select it as the mic whatever your mic's plugged into select that here and uh and then also just like before just do the uh go ahead and go to advanced monitoring device make sure your your uh Virtual audio cable is selected, just like we installed earlier. Um, if you did install it earlier, you need to install it, uh, restart your computer, and then go through this setup up to this point. And then after you get it all set up, um, go down here, add your filters. So noise press, noise gate, you can add more if you want to, gain, whatever you want to. After you get all that set up, exit out of that, right click on the cog again by your mic um, in the audio mixer box here, and go to advanced audio properties and then make sure uh, monitor and output is selected. Um, if you're just gonna use, uh, yeah, I would, I would say if you're just gonna use this just to like improve your mic quality on TeamSpeak or Discord, Zoom, whatever, you can probably just select monitor only and mute output because you won't need the output um, on here because like you're not using OBS for anything, so you won't need to go in two places. So you can probably just select uh, monitor only. You can just kind of play with that and see which one works. And then make sure your tracks over here are selected. It shouldn't matter, you can just leave them all selected. Um, and then just like before, um, we'll go back and select the cable output as our, uh, as our input device on Discord, uh, TeamSpeak, whatever. And uh, then just make sure everything's turned off down here. All the all the additional voice processing, advanced uh, filters, whatever inside Discord, TeamSpeak, Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, whatever else you can think of that's like a voice over IP program. Um, make sure all that's turned off because we're because again we're using the filters on OBS in place of this. So we're just we just literally just need to copy over the audio and just have a place to to, to like broadcast it to, I guess. Um, and then make sure you have your uh, your um, your if you set up a noise gate in OBS like I did then make sure you have the noise gate turned off in whatever program you're using like right here where it's just it's completely off and it's always on um, but if you notice here whenever I stop talking then this won't move because the noise gate is set up in OBS so um I think that should be about it um, so yeah, you will have to, you will have to leave OBS up. Like if you want to go the route to where you're just using this as uh, just to improve your audio on, um, on like Discord or something, and you don't want to use like a standalone um, DAW or whatever, um, then with like VST plugins and stuff, which to me you can't get a VST plugin that sounds as good as the noise suppression built into OBS. I don't. I mean, I might have just not found it yet, but to me, you can't. Um, but yeah, pretty much, uh, that's pretty much all you got to do. But if you are just using it for like TeamSpeak, Discord, whatever, you will have to leave OBS open, just like minimize. You can just drag it onto another monitor or whatever, minimize it. But you will have to always have OBS open to, um, to be able to, for it to, like apply the filters and then send the output to Discord, TeamSpeak, whatever you'll 
So uh, just keep that in mind. And just to see here, just to show you, like we'll go sorted by CPU usage on um, Task Manager. So depending on what CPU and stuff you have, like OBS is using 0 0.6, 0 0.5, something like that. Um, and then it's, but it's also using 862 megabytes of RAM. But I have a bunch of different scenes and stuff and like a bunch of different um, um, plugins running too. So it's, it'll probably be less if you just have just a vanilla fresh copy of OBS installed with one scene and you're just copying um, you're, or you're, yeah, and you're just copying the audio monitoring over to something. It'll probably use a lot less than this, but just keep that in mind. And uh, GPU, let's use my GPU to uh, encode this video, so I couldn't couldn't tell you on that one. But it will use a tiny bit of your GPU as well, um, but not a whole lot. If you have any modern system um, that's able to game at 1080p. You know at over like 60 frames a second you shouldn't have any issues i don't think um if you do have issues you could go the um you could go the uh the voice meter banana route um you could probably find a video on how to set that up i'm not gonna make one just because i don't care and i really really hate voice meter banana i just just getting that all like set up and stuff is just so aggravating i just don't like it so um I finally got mine to where I want it, and I'm just going to leave it alone. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. That gives you two different options. So if you do stream, do use OBS. There's that option. If you don't stream and you just play games or whatever, but you want your mic to sound good in TeamSpeak or Discord, Zoom, uh, if you use like Zoom for school or something like that, um, and you don't want to use RTX Voice or you can't um, use RTX Voice or like a DAW and uh, VST plugins, um, then this, this is like another alternative. Um, this one's pretty easy to set up and it's all with free software. So, uh, but I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, you should, uh, it, if you, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, just leave them below. I will leave links to everything that I talked about in the video here. And I'll probably throw some other stuff in too, just some extra stuff like BST plugins and stuff, just in case you want to use those here in the filters. Um, I'll throw some VST plugins that I recommend um, on there too. But uh, that pretty much should cover everything. Um, so yeah, uh, that pretty much wraps up the video. So peace out.